Get a say this guy. <clears throat> Hello? Yes, my friend, you are a Muslim? Yes, of course. All right, you are calling me chicken too. Hmm. Yes, I... Uh, can, you say, I can you say the Shahada? Of course I can say the Shahada. All right, what is the Shahada? Tell me the Shahada. The Shahada? Yeah. I know what the Shahada is. Okay, tell me the Shahada. You know the Shahada, tell me the Shahada. What does that mean? Translate to me. Why? You don't understand uh, what, what I said? Well, I don't know. You tell me. I'm learning from you. I think you, you speak Arabic, so you must know that. Okay, can we find what you just said to me? That there's no God but Allah and Muhammad is his messenger in the Quran? Um, maybe not in the Quran, but in the Hadith. All right. So the major belief in Islam is not even in the Quran. Uh, the major belief. Hmm. No, I don't know if it's the major belief. The most major belief is to believe in the creator of... No, but if you say Shahada, you are a Muslim, correct? Yes. Okay, this is the major belief. So the major belief in Islam is not and cannot be found in the Quran. Why? It is just uh, a, a confession uh, to believe in your heart. You okay. Don't have to... So Allah did not tell Muhammad to make this confession to the Muslims or the Muslim to say that confession to be considered Muslims. Muhammad, he fabricated this thing. He put his name next to the name of Allah. It is it, it uh, no. It is a teaching of the prophet in the lifetime of the prophet. If the people uh, want to be a Muslim, no problem. He put his name next to the name of Allah, doing shirk. They just, they just confess. Okay, let me ask you. When you witness, do Allah witness to Muhammad that he is a prophet, or Muhammad witness to Allah that he is God? The word shahada. Is about witnessing, yeah. correct? Yeah, but it is uh, just witnessing from your heart. No problem. Just, when did did Allah did Allah do shahada from his heart? If you go to marry your uh, wife, you would just confess by the by the priest or by your imam that it's your wife. You hmm. say yes. But this is not but, my question. Did Allah? But it is not. You did, don't, did did Allah witness took shahada? Did Allah what? Took shahada. I don't think. <clears throat> Did Allah took shahada? Yeah. <clears throat> um, I just, I don't understand your uh, question. Well, to be a Muslim, you I have to witness to Allah and I, Muhammad, I, I, correct? I ask you, I, I ask you, uh, you on a Skype uh, to... Uh, I have a question for you. No problem, but we will go. You know, let's finish this one. We will go to your question. No problem. So, did Allah take shahada like you? Did Allah like you? Did He take shahada to His to other God? No, because He is God Himself. So there is no way He will take shahada, right? Yes. So why the Quran says Shahid Allahu? Allah took shahada. You mean uh, He? Take an oath. No, it says Shahid Allah, and Nahula ilaha illahu, well malaika. Chapter 3, verse number 18. Allah witnessing to Allah. You said to me, No, why Allah want to do that? He is Allah, He's God. Yeah, but I, I it is, uh, yeah, but you don't, uh, I, I don't think you don't, uh, you don't understand it. It is not. You must. <clears throat> you must see it in a context. You uh, take it very literally uh, how you read it. 
it is like uh, no problem no problem my friend you are the muslim i'm trying to learn from you so allah he said la ilaha illa hu who mean he he who who's talking allah so allah is saying there's no god but he yeah okay allah is not yeah. talking about himself then yes he, but you uh, read that also in uh, in the bible no in the old testament yes no. in the old testament in mm. Uh, Isaiah, hmm. uh, God say that also there is uh, none but me, not uh, not before me, and also not af after me. Exactly, be me. Allah here is saying. But uh, he, hold on, you see, Allah be a witness. Who is talking? Allah. So the verse is so clear. Even the word Allah is there. Allah be a witness. He's saying shahada. La ilaha illahu. There's no god but He. He who? Yeah. He who? But He. Yeah, he. Who? God. There is no Allah, but only He. He who? He Allah. Okay. Have you ever heard of somebody saying, "You, you know, you just quote for me from the Bible saying God He said only me, correct?" Uh, if you go, I don't know if I. Okay. Uh, no, no. You said me. I heard you. So Allah, if you, if Allah is 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 going to say there's no God but me. He should not I, say there is no I, God but He. Yes, I uh, uh, heard you, but I don't know if I read it good. How it is in the Bible? It doesn't so, matter. It doesn't matter. So God, I am your God. You, I am your God. The Bible is saying many times, I am your God. I am. I am who I am. So here, Allah is taking shahada, witnessing that there is other God. He is the Ilah. Ilah is a word meaning God, not Allah. Allah is a name have contained two words, A L and La. The name of your God of Islam is La. So Al La, God La, bears witness that there is La Ilah. There is no God save He. He who the Muslim they will say to you, oh, he's talking about himself. That's impossible because if he's talking about himself, he will say, save me. Yeah, but. Uh... I, okay, listen, it is also in Arabic, and Arabic is a, is a different language than English. Huh? I'm reading in Arabic, my friend. I don't care for the. You know, I'm an Arab. I'm an Arab. It is a semantic, it is a semantic language. like. Okay, uh, I, I know I know what semantic language is, but this is not the question. You are, you are trying to change, uh, you know, like, let's fix it, get some glue. It's semantic now. It is Arabic. It is okay. We know it's Arabic. Shahid Allahu anna la ilaha illa hu wal malaika wa ulu al ulm qaimun bil qist. Allah He made Himself equal to those lists. Not only that, look at what happened now. Allah He witnessed that there is no God but He. He who we do not know. We will we will find later. And the angels and those who have in knowledge and those who maintain the justice. La ilaha illa hu. All of them, they worship one God. His name is Allah. So, uh, who is this God? Allah and the angels and the believers. What what is the what is uh, the what is the the word in uh, Aramaic uh, to uh, God? my my friend? Don't go to Aramaic and who care about now this? Let us say you want you want to talk about the name of God. Language because it is the language. Eel, of... eel, eel, eel. The H at the end is just a sound, ila, ila, il. This is the same word used in Hebrew. Il, yeah. il, like Ezra, il, Ezra, il, Mika, il, Gebrail. And actually, even those names prove Islam to be false. You Muslim, you took the name from the gospel, from the Aramaic. You do not know what they mean. If I ask right now what Gabriel mean, you do not know, correct? But you want to change uh, some of the subject. I'm not. It's you who is asking me about the Aramaic. You forgot what you do. You are like my grandfather. You remember everything except the second I asked him about money. So listen. When Allah, he said, Allah, he bear witness that there is no God, but he and the following, he and the angels and those who have knowledge and those who maintain just the, the justice, they say there is no God, but he. That is, that is stupid. If Allah is talking about Himself, He should say "I." And let me ask you now to make it simple. I, I, because uh, because because it is in your uh, mind logic, because it is in the Bible. I don't understand you. 
I'm not I'm not talking about the Bible at all. I'm asking you how Allah how Allah he say I am so you think oh uh, if it is not in the Quran because in the Quran it's No 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 this is not you know because you mentioned to me what God he say I said to you I am so here I'm asking you to focus on me don't be nervous so if Allah is witnessing he witnessed to who to himself his his what he witnessed to to himself. Well, Allah uh, is Allah is a crazy guy. He's talking to himself. Witness to himself. Not, he's not crazy. He's the great creator and God of. Uh, okay, so Allah witness to himself. You said that to me. Yes. Okay, and he, when he, when Allah when Allah he when Allah he witnessed to Allah, what happened? He can he only can witness to himself because why why he would witness to me or to someone else? I thought, I thought, you see, when you say witness, when you say witness, witness mean the authority. So I witness in the front of the judge. I witness in the front of somebody he higher. Huh? He is the judge. So how the judge witness to the judge? So why he would witness to someone else? He is the judge. Why, the why the judge witness to the judge? Because he is the judge. Well, if we agree he is the judge, he do not need to do witnesses. The witnesses is those who they are in this down the stage. The one in the stage is the one who judge the witnesses. Those who witness, those who witness is the one who enter the command of the law. So you are not a witness. You are the judge himself. I want to be. A, I want to be a Christian. But can you? Uh, I don't want you to be a Christian. I want you to stay a, a black stone kisser. Why are changing the topic? <laughs> Why not? No, I, because I don't want you to be a Christian. If you become a Christian, I will laugh at who? But who are you? If I want to be a Christian, I want to, uh, I'm going to be... No problem. You see, I can tell that you are not serious. That's why I have to take what you say, uh -huh. not serious. You do not know, you do not know your book. You do not know your book. You are embarrassed with your book, so I are trying to change the topic. That's all. I don't want to change... Uh... No, you are trying to change the topic. And now let us continue. It says here that truly the religion of Allah is Islam. Do you agree with that? What did you say? Allah, he said, truly the religion of Allah only for Allah is Islam. Is that correct? That's co more than correct. Okay. So how he called us a Christian and he claimed and the Jews and then he claimed that Jews and Christian will go to heaven. If the religion for Allah is only Islam, why we are called the Christians? Okay. Is that a question or not? Oh, it sounds like it's not a question. It sounds like an answer. So let me repeat again. If Allah, if the religion of Allah, if the religion of Allah is Islam and those who follow Jesus are Muslims. So why the Quran is confused? One time he said the religion of Allah is only Islam. And then he say, and those, the Christians, the Christians and the Jews. So is the Christian and the Jews are Muslims or not? Are you going to let me uh, answer the question? Go ahead. Okay. We believe mm. the uh, the Muslims believe that uh, Islam uh, be begins from uh, Adam. Mm -hmm. so, uh, from the beginning, Islam means submitting, yeah, uh, your will for, uh, to the Creator, mm. and that and, and that is the reason that all the prophets and all the uh, from uh, Adam till uh, Prophet uh, Muhammad. Are uh, Muslims because they, we are submitting and uh, our will to the to the Creator, and if if we uh, uh, if we are uh, calling us Muslims or uh, the Jew, uh, the Jews, Moses was also a Muslim, and um, uh, Jesus was also a Muslim, Adam was also a Muslim, David, uh, uh, Jacob, uh, Noah, so uh, every uh, prophet was a Muslim. Hmm. Why? Not because they are calling Muslims, no, because Muslim uh, Islam means you are submitting your will mm. not from your own desires mm. but uh, to uh, Allah, mm. to God. Are you done? Yeah, I am done. That's uh, okay. Was my answer. But yeah. I have a question to you. No, no, hold on. You see, you spoke for five minutes, you did not even touch my question. Listen carefully mm -hmm. if. The religion of Allah is only Islam, which means Allah don't accept any religion except Islam, correct? Islam means, Islam mm -hmm. means 
submitting your will. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. I'm not asking you about the mean now. And by the way, submitting is not a true. Submitting is false. It means surrender. S okay, Islam? Surrender, submitting, it is the same, uh, almost the same. Uh, no, no. Surrender is different from submit. Submit is something you do willingly. Surrender, you are forced to. Now, let's go to the topic. Listen carefully. Listen carefully to my question. If the religion for Allah and Allah accept only Islam, he don't accept any other religion, correct? So surrendering to uh, uh, surrendering your will to the uh, to the creator. Listen to my question, my friend. You are not listening. Do Allah accept any other religion for anyone to go to heaven except Islam? Yes. So. If you are living in the time of uh, uh, the Prophet, uh, Prophet Isa alayhi salam, mm. you are a Muslim. If you live in the uh, time uh, of uh, Musa alayhi salam, Moses alayhi salam, All right. and you follow Moses, you are a Muslim. W what means Muslim? Mm. Uh, submitting your will to the Creator. So if Moses came with a teaching, yes, uh -huh. if you follow Moses, you go to uh, heaven. Mm. Yes, if you don't follow Moses, okay. you go to All right. So the one who follow the one who follow Isa is a Muslim, correct? Yes. All right. Muslim what? a Muslim means not means not a Muslim like uh, uh like how do you say that? Like Muslims uh, a Muslim the word Muslims mean you mm. surrender your will to the creator no problem live, but what is the name focus with me the name of the religion what the name of the religion is what is islam correct yes and do allah accept any religion except the name of the religion of islam if you uh, follow the uh, uh, the uh, the prophet muhammad mm. peace be upon him mm. the quran and the teachings of the prophet mm. yes the uh, the authentic hadith of the prophet okay you are a muslim. okay yeah. but if if everybody who follow those the prophet is a muslim why allah he called the jews jews and why he called the christian christians because the jews uh -huh. yes were, uh, are the followers of jacob and, ah. The, ah, and the christians are the followers of uh, Isa alayhi salam, the uh, Messiah. But I yeah. thought the one who follow the prophets are Muslims, so, so we should call them Muslims. The Jews in the time of uh, of uh, Musa alayhi salam uh -huh. yeah, are also Muslims, means just they are uh, following mm. uh, uh, Moses. Mm. Yes, it is not Muslim like oh, Muslim the time of the prophet Muhammad. No, Muslim means you. If I lived 10,000 years ago and I surrender my will to my creator, I am I am a Muslim. Okay, a Muslim so is the Christians, let, let's make it simple, is the Christians Muslims or not? Creator. Listen, if you live in the time of Noah, hmm. yeah, if you live in the time of Noah, yeah. what is the only way to go to heaven? Did Jesus uh, lived in? Uh, was Jesus in the time of uh, Noah? No. No, he was. So, he was before Noah. I mean, the people. Did they know about Jesus? Well, yeah, because if you go and read the Old okay. Testament, if you okay. go to Genesis, if you go to Genesis five, you will see the names of Adam children, and you will see that the names mean that the Messiah will come down. And he will his death will give comfort to the mankind. So the names of the children of Adam mean the story of the Messiah. However, you are trying to change the topic your best. No, so no, it's just a question about Okay, uh, let me ask you in the time of Muhammad, the Christian and the Jews, are they going to go to heaven or not? Uh, in the time of the Prophet Muhammad. Hmm. Uh, it depends. Depending on what? Because uh, the Prophet Muhammad uh, had uh, 23 years, uh, the time uh, to uh, f fulfill his uh, re religion mm. of Islam. What does so, have to do with my topic? Give me an answer. You ask me a question. Yeah, okay. Uh, is the Christian going to go to heaven or not, according to Islam, according in the time of Muhammad? Yes or no? I said to you, it depends, because 
if a Christian uh, followed Jesus, the teachings of Jesus, in mm. the time of Prophet Muhammad, mm. and Muhammad came to uh, heaven, yeah, he go to heaven because he followed the teachings of you, Jesus. You touch your microphone, I lost your, your voice, is not good now, okay? Because... Okay, speak now. You hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Go ahead. Because if uh, uh, the Prophet Muhammad uh, mm. was uh, maybe, uh, let's say, one week there, and mm. a Christian lived his life, all his life, following uh, the Torah and the Injil, mm. and he dies, he mm. follow, uh, so he go to heaven because he followed the, uh, the Torah. The so if a, if a person in the time of Muhammad, he followed the Torah and the Injil, he go to heaven. Do we agree? Yes. All right. That's mean the Torah and the Injil never be corrupted and they are exist in the time of Muhammad, correct? I don't know. What do you mean you know? You just said if somebody in the time of Muhammad, he followed the Torah and the Injil, he go to heaven. So... If, yeah, if that, if, if he was, if, if he had the, the, the original uh, Torah and the Injil, mm -hmm. but I don't believe, I don't believe the Injil was really, uh, really there because... I think I think the uh, even the even the Torah mm. from uh, uh, that we have now is from uh, th thousand years <laughs> after Moses. Mm. And you know that also. Okay. All Testament, all Testament. Look what happened now. Look what happened. You got your prophet busted because you said you don't think that those books are exist in the time of your prophet, but your prophet he said promising the Christians and the Jews. In his time, in his time, not before, they are going to go, they are going to go to heaven. Not only that, he promised the Sabian, read carefully, chapter 2, verse number 62. It says, those who believe in the Quran, number one, and those who follow the Jewish scriptures, number two, and the Christians, and the Sabian, and whoever believe in Allah, and the last day, and work righteousness, he will go to heaven. Okay, so the Quran says in the time of Muhammad, whoever follow that's, the Jewish scriptures. That, yeah, that's. But me as Muslim, yes, uh -huh. as a Muslim, I, I need to believe, yeah, that uh, I need to believe that uh, Allah uh, gave to Moses the Torah. And Allah this is not. This, I'm not talking about you now. Listen, the Quran mentioned those who believe in the Quran. Those are the Muslims. Those who believe in the Jewish scriptures. Those are the Jews. And those who believe in the Christian scriptures, those are Christians. And those who they are Sabian is the one who worship stars, which to prove that Muhammad is a fraud because Sabian have nothing to do with the book of God. They don't even believe in, in such a God. So he, Muhammad, he put them with us. But anyway, so those who believe in the Jewish scriptures and the Christians in the time of Muhammad and the Muslims and the Muslims and whoever believe, whoever believe in the judgment day, He's going to go to heaven. So the, the, the Christian scriptures is the Christian scriptures is approved in the Quran, and the Christians and the Jews are following those scriptures so he, they can go to the Quran. But look what happened. I asked you before, is the only religion for Allah except is Islam? You said yes. Yes. Okay. Someone those who follow the Quran are the Muslims. Someone who submit his will to the Creator is a Muslim. And follow the process. Okay, you know what? I, I will make it simple. Yes. You said to me, Moses was a Muslim. Yes. Okay. Because he submit his will to the Creator. He All right. did everything what the Creator, what Allah said to him, he did it. Wonderful. And that makes sense. Wonderful. That makes Wonderful. The, I, I'm sure you heard that the Christian believe in original sin, correct? Yeah. Okay. And the original sin is because of Adam, we are out of heaven, correct? Yeah. Okay. Do Moses believe in religious sin, like the Christian, or he's a Muslim who don't believe in it? He believes in. Uh, he believes that Adam alayhi uh, salam ate from the fruit. No, no, no. You focus with me. Focus with me. I am. You I believe. Am. You believe in that too. This is not the question. I'm asking you the, about the original sin. I said to you, the Christian believed the original sin. You said yes. I said the original sin in Christianity that because of Adam we are out of heaven and we commit sin too. You said yes, correct? It's not because of Adam we are out of uh, heaven. No? No. Okay. No. Not because of that. That's so, Musa is a Muslim, he will never believe in that. 
Why? You said to me no. You said to me no. Wrong. Not because of Adam out of heaven. I said, I said to you yes. Yes I what? You, yes what? Don't believe that because of Adam alayhi salam. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that we are in uh, planet Earth now. No, mm. he believes. Yeah, that it is Qadr Allah. Ah, it's a destiny. That it happens. Why? Okay. I'm mm. gonna I'm gonna explain you why. Okay. Do you think Do you think that Allah uh, creates Adam and he don't know? That he gonna eat from the from from the fruit. Hmm. That uh, what do you think? Allah is all not uh, knowledgeable. Okay. He, uh, know everything. So he knows also. Yeah. If he wanted uh, a, a creation that don't ma makes fault, he would create a creation that don't make fault. Okay. He uh, yes, let's let's, he, let's go step by step. Let's go step by step. You mentioned you, you mentioned the word qadr. Qadr means fate. So did Allah decide for Adam to eat from the tree which means it's not the sin of Adam no you don't understand it no okay Allah, just give me the answer Allah. give me the answer and you can explain you give me the answer and you can explain did Allah did Allah decide the fate of Adam so he will eat that the, from the tree did either you say yes or you say no it is not you cannot uh ask me a yes or no it is i must explain. because it's about fate you are the one who mentioned to me to work word qadar what qadar mean it's a destiny you, you must uh i must explain it because allah has a for uh, a foreknowledge what Adam i'm not talking about about the knowledge i'm not talking about the knowledge of allah i'm, ta I'm talking about al qadar al qadar have nothing to do with the knowledge al qadar al is are you sure you're a muslim are you sure you're a muslim uh are you sure you are a Muslim? Okay. Al Qadr is not about knowledge. The Qadr is about Allah. He made a fate. He decided before He created you your fate. Correct? I know that uh, if uh, something happened, bad or good, we all uh, uh, always say it is Qadr Allah. So uh, uh, it is uh, uh, what Allah has. Uh, so uh, has uh, what? What I want to say is Allah created Adam, and He knew. Uh, and he created him with uh, uh, with a free will, and he knows he can go left or uh, right. Okay. Can okay. Can make so, good, uh, so simple. You answer me. You answer me. Thank you. So, guys, Allah He gave Adam a free will, and yes. Moses and Moses He don't believe that because of Adam. Hold on. And Moses He don't believe that because of Adam we are of heaven because he's a Muslim. Correct. I don't know. Did you uh, do you uh, uh, do you uh, show something on the? I did not show anything. No, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. You're fine. You are still safe. It's okay. So I'm asking you. You said that already. I mean, don't be, don't be, don't be afraid. It's okay. It's okay. So Moses, okay. Moses, he don't believe. You said everybody heard you. Moses okay. don't believe. Moses don't believe that uh, we are out of heaven because of Adam's sin. You said that. So why he believe in that? Why he, why he believe in that? It is a hadith that uh, Musa alayhi salam asked uh, be, uh, to Adam uh, or to Allah. I don't know. Uh -huh. I remember. I remember a hadith that uh -huh. he asked uh, that, uh, if he didn't eat, he would. Uh, he wouldn't uh, was there. Uh, okay. I, I know. Uh -huh. So. Uh -huh. and you got. You just got yourself busted because you no. said to me. You just said to me. Hold on. You said to me. You, hold on. Oh, hold on, hold on. You said, you said Allah, he gave Adam a free will. And you said that Moses don't believe, don't believe. Okay, hold on. You saw what people posted in the chat. So now you are alarmed. Listen carefully. So now Moses believe that because of Adam, we are out of heaven, which means what you said to me, it was an absolute lie. Because here we go, Moses and your prophet reporting that. Moses argue with Adam, said to him, you are the one who got the people out of paradise by your sin. You said, and everybody heard you. Moses don't believe. Don't, Moses don't believe in that. People who will do the, the video later, they will do editing and they will make your voice again, and people will laugh. Don't deny it. 
can I uh, can I uh, explain or not? No, you explain already. We are explaining the same thing for the last fifteen minutes, twenty minutes, and now you want to explain can more. I, so you said Moses. Explain. You said Moses did not believe that because of Adam we are out of heaven. You said that, and then you said that Allah have the knowledge of the sin of Adam. Allah did not make Adam commit sin. But I ask it to you. I said to you. Don't you Muslim believe in faith? You said to me, uh, talking about Allah have foreknowledge. I said to you, will knowledge have nothing to do with faith? But here the, ver the hadith says that Adam, he said, Allah, he ordained the sin to me to do 40 years before he created me. Yeah, so, so uh, what do you want to say? So what, what you said to me, absolutely false. Uh, the oh. sin of Adam, you say, everybody heard you saying that Adam have a free, uh, everybody heard you saying we, Adam have a free will. Listen to me, Moses is just a, a human. Adam, yes. do, uh, does Adam have a free will or not? <clears throat> yes, he has a free will. So why here it says, Allah, do you blame me for what is written in my faith 40 years before my creation? Yeah, because it is written that uh -huh. Allah knows that Allah knows what he gonna decide. Listen, I don't know how smart you are. It says, do you blame me? Do you blame yes. me? What was the what was the blame? What was the blame? Muslims believe, yeah. Don't tell me what the Muslim believe. Focus should we move the story now? Do you blame no. me? What is the blame is? What is the blame? Explain. We Muslims believe. Don't don't everything. go to the Muslim now. Focus in the story. Do you blame me? What was the blame? We Muslims believe. Don't go to the Muslims. You are trying to escape the embarrassment. It's in the front of you. Do you blame me? So what Moses was blaming Adam for? Yeah, Moses is a human. Yeah, and he asked by himself because of you. Yeah, because of your action, mm -hmm. uh, we make this fault. And Adam replies to Moses, it is written, it is written that I make this fault, that I'm going to make this decision. No, no. He is saying to him, do you blame me for an action which Allah had written in my faith, which means my action, you cannot blame me for my action. Not written that... Unbelievable! You don't understand it. It is not okay. Why we cannot blame? Why we cannot blame Adam? Okay, if if Adam anyway, Allah He knew about the sin of Adam. That will not change the fact that Adam He commit the sin by His own will. Correct? You must uh, let me give me uh, give me a little bit time to explain. No problem. You... But focus with me because you you talk about everything except my question. When Adam committed I... sin, question. when Adam committed I... sin. Can we blame Adam? Can we blame Adam for his sin or not? No, of course not, because uh, uh, it is. Uh, 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 <laughs> of course not. In the, no, because it is written that Allah knows that Allah knows He gonna make that de decision. So what? So you can't blame him for the sin. Well, well, Allah, He knew my sin too, supposedly. So. Are you saying to me, yeah. I, you cannot blame me if I do fornication? Are you saying to me, you cannot blame me if I commit a theft? Are you saying to me, because Allah, he knew? Allah knows. Okay, uh, your, your God, uh, is he uh, all or not? Uh, Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic, Abdul. I got you. I got you. I got you from your tail. So now listen, can I blame you for the sin you do or I cannot? Your God don't know what you are don't doing. change the topic you're trying to escape and no you cannot escape from a Christian prince I get you from your tail so your religion does not make any sense because now all sin of mankind is not to blame to anyone and this is your explanation because if Allah Allah he is the one who decide our fate so why we are going to be playing for our sin because Allah knows what our exes will uh, gonna uh, be. This is not what it says. It says Allah He knew, yes, but Allah He decide. Uh, created the pen, the uh, the uh, the writing pen, yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, the magical yes. pen, the magical pen. Mm. 
Yes, mm. 50,000 years before creation, he uh, created the pen and he knows mm. yeah, because he is old and not, uh, and, uh, uh, how do you say that he knows everything, mm. not like Jesus. Okay, so listen, okay, Jesus, he do not know, yeah, but but, but the Quran, the Quran says Jesus know the hour, but let's not, let us not to change the topic, you're trying to escape the embarrassment. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, 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 listen. If if somebody commit fornication, is that fate from Allah or it is your free will? It is your free will and your action. You with your free will, you have you can decide to to uh, good things or bad things. It is your. So it's but not Allah, something you must commit. But Allah knows what you're gonna do. Oh. But He gives you a chance to repent. Okay, yes. read with me what Allah He said. Allah Prophet He said. That every human being, verily Allah has fixed. Who is the one who fixed it? Allah. Hold on. The very portion of adultery which a man will indulge in, in which of he necessity must commit. Where? I, I want to read with you. It is the book of destiny in Sahih Muslim. Destiny. You see destiny? This is what destiny is. It's a destiny. That's why it is in the book of destiny. So it's your destiny. It's a decree from him that all the sin you do, it's a decree from Allah. This is not about just knowledge. It's a decree. Look at the title. It's decree from him. Zina. Zina. Zina, etc. What Zina mean? What Zina mean? Can you give me the, the, the link or the... How do you say that? Hadith number 2657B. 2657B. Mm -hmm. I'm going to look with you. Mm. Okay. Mm. The Book of Destiny. Chapter The Son of Adam Share of Zina. Mm -hmm. what, what Zina mean? What Zina mean? You know, I mean, uh, adult, uh, uh, okay, read for me what it says. What the title says, it says it's a decree from him, correct? Uh, it's it is nice, it's, it's decreed for him, okay, for him, wow. decree from him, for him, okay, it's decreed. What decreed for him mean? Portion of other industry which <laughs> a man will indulge in and which he of necessity must commit. Shape of the eye is the last one. Look, uh, it looks like the Bible. The, ah, uh, looks like the Bible. Don't change topic. So it decreed for him. Who is the one who decreed your adultery? You said to me, lying, that we believe in a free will, and when a human being he commits zina for nocation, it's your free will. You can do it. You cannot do it. Allah, He knew what He would do anyway. But this is not what Islam teach. It's a decreed from Allah to him. So it's not a free will. Apologize for lying. No, no, no. It is. Uh, I don't, it is uh, wrong how you, how you explain it. Does it say in the top, the book of destiny? Yes. Okay. Does it say is decreed from for him? Okay. Uh, <clears throat> wait, wait one second. Yeah. Decree. For him, right. Wait one second, sir. Eh? No, we'll give you 10 years. It's light for him. Okay. Mm. Uh, yes, because he know he knows what's going to happen. So he decides what is You see, happen. if you want me to continue talking to you, at least be a man and agree that you are being stupid. Be a man for a second. It says a decree is a dec decreed. Decreed. And you yes. keep saying to me he knew. Decreed. Decreed is different from just knowing. Decreed mean I am the one who decided for you. The book of destiny is his decreed for him. Yes, because he knows in his knowledge. I don't care about his knowledge now. It's a decreed. Decreed is a word. What does decreed mean? If you know what's going to happen. This is not about knowing now. I'm asking you what, de what decreed mean. Yes. 
Can I explain or not? Don't tell me explain. You said to me, no, 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 he know. We knew he knew. Allah, he knew everything. Come on, he's God. But this is not the question. Let us forget no. about no, he knew, he knew. Okay. Now it says is it decreed for him. Who is the one who made decreed for you to commit sin? Decreed mean destiny, fate, and you have to do it. Because he knows what's gonna happen. This is not you see, if you want if you want to talk to me, at least be honest for a second. And people are laughing at you. No, let, let so laugh. so what decreed mean? What decreed mean? I know that Allah knows. Does everything. the word mean the word decreed mean he knows or the decreed mean something else? Please for himself. What is gonna happen? This is not the question. Decreed. Does it mean he knew what will happen to you or mean he decides for you what you will do? He knows he decreed for his self. So decreed mean he knew or it mean he decides for you what you will do. He knows that I'm gonna talk with uh Christian stupid coward liar and they say to me have patient any donkey can go right now and search what decree mean and what destiny mean destiny mean free will decreed mean a free will why you are calling me are you are scared? Are you going to tell me what decreed mean or not? Yes. Are you going to tell me what decreed mean or not? But are you scared or not? Sure, I'm scared. I mean, you are so stupid to to the point you are so scary. He hang up. <laughs> I'm the one who scared you, potato. So tell me what decreed mean. I can go right now and get you busted from the Quran. Show you the word decreed. Hello? Hello? I still have a question for you. Mute YouTube, mute YouTube. I still have a... You are trying to change the topic, but Tato, he have a question for me. <laughs> he called me to tell me I have a question for you. <laughs> Are you going to tell me what decree mean or not? Decided it's going to happen. That's, that means decree. Exactly. He decided what is going to happen. Thank you. So you Muslims, you Muslims are are following a stupid God. Adam said, hold on, hold on. So Allah, he decreed for you what is going to happen. He decide for you. You admit it. Thank you very much. At least you are being honest at the end. Listen, listen, hold on. So Allah decided for you what you will do, including fornication. So why Allah will punish you for fornication? He decide for you. Because uh, with my free will, I decided, yes. How he decided for you and you said to me, I decided. Because Allah created me with a free will. Yes. No, no, no. Hold on. Where is the free will? You just said to me, Allah decided for you to do fornication. And he yes. even decide how much fornication he will do. Because in he knows in my knowledge, I'm going to make the decision. This is not about knowledge. You say it and everybody heard you. Allah, he decides for you. Because he knows what is what uh, my action will be. You must understand it, but still... My friend, hold on. You said he is the one who decided to you your action, and now you are telling me the surprise that he knew your action. He is the one who decided your action. CP, listen, listen, listen. Aren't you the one who said he decided your action for you? Okay, what do you want? Uh, that I say you are right? Okay. You said, I don't care what you say, people are laughing. You know, people either will laugh at you or at me. You say whatever you want. So, but you said, and finally you said, Allah, he decide your action. He decide what you will do. Did you say that? Because we're going to do. Okay, so he not about oh. knowing, he decide what he will do. No. You said that, you said, you said that. Listen. You said Allah. that already when you call me. Knows that I'm gonna no, 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 hold you. on. You said Allah decide what you will do. You said that. So he decreed, yeah, for him that because in his knowledge he knows. You said he decide what you will do. What did you say? You said 
You, yeah. he decide, Allah, he decide for you what you will do. In his knowledge, he know that I'm going to... This is not about his knowledge. You said he decided. Of course. Yeah. Okay. So he is the one who decide what you would do. It's not your decision. Knowledge. No. Okay. Just to make it simple, if a no, child, no, if, if if okay, let let us make it simple. Let let us let us see. Let us see. Let us see how much you want to play games and how far you can go. Let us see how far you can go. If a Muslim, if a Muslim baby, if a Muslim, if a Muslim baby, he died. Do he go by the decree of Allah or he go to heaven by the by by not doing sin? How is it in Christianity? I'm asking you. In Christianity, it says not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. So you have a free will. Now let us go back. Hold on. Don't change topic. Don't change topic. Do it. Okay. You cannot you cannot change topic with, with, with the Christian prince. Listen, if a child, if a baby, he die if a if a baby, if a baby, if a baby, the will of God. The will of God, the will of God, yes, the will of God, which means if you don't follow the will of God, you don't go. To be with God, so you have a will, and you have a will of God. You choose one. Choose one. Choose one. So not the will of Jesus, but the will of the Father. The will of Jesus is the will of the Father. For Jesus says, "Me and the Father is one." And you are trying to change the topic. Shame on you! Now let us let us let us let us let us see, guys. Let us see. If a Muslim child, if a Muslim baby, if a Muslim baby, you are trying to escape. I will not let you escape. You you the became problem. you became yeah, red and I have my fingerprint all over you. So listen, 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 listen. You are trying to change topic. You are a coward. You are being a coward. You are being a coward. Let us finish this. Let us finish this and we will and we will go there. Let, let us finish there and we will go there. Listen, if a Muslim child, if a Muslim child, we will need to finish the destiny. We need to finish the destiny. If a Muslim baby died, where he go? Do he go? Don't call me brother. You are a brother of the devil, Muhammad. So don't call me brother. You are worshiping shaitan. So you can't be my brother. So listen, when a when a when a baby when a baby when a baby when a when a baby he died, are you going to listen? Are you going to to talk to change the topic, or you want to talk about it? Besides Allah. Okay, we worship Jesus beside Allah. We don't worship Allah. You are worshiping Jesus. Besides Allah, we don't worship Allah. Allah is an idiot. Don't you see the donkey? He just made you commit sin and then he will punish you for your sin. This is a stupid God. Listen, don't change topic. Don't change topic. Let's go. If a, if a Muslim is a if a Muslim infant, if a Muslim infant die, is he going to go to heaven or he will go to hell? I don't know. I decide that to God. I don't know. I'm Thank you, guys. He said, he said it's decide to God why he did not commit sin, why he will go to hell. I don't know. I decide that to God. I don't. Uh, no, I don't no, 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 no. You know, is it is is it those who commit sin only? Is it those who commit sin they will go to hell only? So are you saying? To, are you are you saying to me if a child he never commits sin he will go to hell in Islam? Uh, must I answer that? Why not? Okay. Can you open John seventeen three? Okay. Answer from religion, and then we go to John seven three. 17 three. we can go to Jevin 17 17 3 john answer 17. answer and we will go to john 17 3 what, what is your question he, he's not listening supposedly you are a liar you are a hypocrite you are a potato you see how many times i need to repeat the same question for the last 10 minutes i'm repeating the same question you are saying to me now what is the question okay if a child he died yeah. is he going yeah. to go to heaven or to hell you said to me already I will uh, Allah will decide I said I said just just re, just to remind you of your stupidity I said well if the child is an infant he never commits sin why he should go to hell go ahead okay can you go to some uh, the answer is in Samuel, uh, no Samuel. answer me about Islam because you do not know you do not know your religion so you cannot talk about my religion so now read for me tell me tell me tell me so are you saying, okay, I want you to say in front of everybody, I'm trying to escape the embarrassment of Islam, so I want to go to the Bible, and then I will go to the Bible. No, oh, I want to give you the answer. The answer no, the answer is here from your prophet. The answer is from your prophet, not from not not from the Bible, my friend. My, I can also use the Bible. No problem. Okay, Bible. no problem. Give me the answer according to Islam, and then go to the Bible, I promise you. Go ahead. I'm a Muslim, so I believe in the Bible and the Torah. No, you don't Torah. believe. No, you don't believe. 
I, I believe the, in, in the Bible and the Torah. No, you don't. And you are being, no problem. My friend, you believe in the book of Sabian too, but no problem. Give me the answer according to Islam and then you can go to the Bible. Okay. Uh, I believe that uh, children, that if, uh, if they die, they go to heaven. Well, you are stupid like your prophet. Here we go. This is Sahih al-Bukhari saying, an infant who died. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. You see, you you wanted to teach me about my Bible, but you do not know what your religion is teaching you. Shame on you. So you are not qualified to open my book because you don't even know your book. Read, read, read for me, read for me. You are trying to escape. This is your prophet. This is your prophet. And this is Aisha speaking, speaking about, shut up. Shut up. Let me read yeah, for you. Let me read for you the reference. Let me get you busted. You don't want, are you embarrassed? Are you embarrassed? A child, a ch you said, you sh you said you coward. You said you're a liar. You said you're a liar. That a child, he will go to heaven because he never commits sin. But Muhammad, he said, no, it's a decree. It's a decree. So even a child who never commits sin, an infant, he is too yeah. young to commit evil. He is too young to be evil. How is if a Muslim baby dies, they go to heaven or hell? In Islam? Yeah. If a Muslim baby dies, uh -huh. he go to heaven or hell? If a Muslim baby die? Well, yeah. accor according to... A Hindu, to... Uh, Hindu baby. It doesn't matter. Uh, uh, Christ, he said, if you don't become this... Hold, hold on, let me answer you. Shut up. 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 You asked me the question. You asked me the question. You asked me the question. Trying to change the topic, but I will answer you and we'll go back. Listen, if a Hindu baby, a Muslim baby, an atheist a child baby, he died according to Jesus, he said, shut up, let me answer. If you do not become the same as the little one, you will not enter the kingdom of my father. So the children, the infant, oh, shut up, shut up, they will go to heaven. Now I answered you. Now, according to your religion, a child, he is a Muslim. A son of a Muslim, his mother is a Muslim. He passed yes. away. He is an infant and he commit no evil, neither reach the age of evil. Muhammad, he told Aisha, Aisha, she thought that he would go to heaven. Aisha, he said to her, shut up, shut up. So here we go. <laughs> You're just a kid. <laughs> Embarrassment. Everybody is laughing at you. It's recorded. You, you, you didn't read for me John 17. You stupid idiot donkey. If you read John 17, you will condemn your God. In John 17, Jesus says, I am God. You Muslims are a bunch of stupid like your prophet. This is John 17, you donkey. Let us read it together. Do you even dare? Potato. You need to read John 17 for us. Huh? Are you scared to read John 17? The funny is, the Muhammadan, they are kangaroo. They are like their prophet. They jump like monkeys from place to place. They read John 17, but did not see John 1. They reach the John 17, 3, but John 1 is not there. What is John 1? There's no John 1. Are you serious? Yes, they read John 17, uh, 3. Okay, hold on. Before we go to 3, we have to read 1. This word spoke Jesus and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour is come. Glorify the Son, that the Son also may glorify thee. As thou hast given me him the power over the flesh. Who is the one have the power over the flesh? The Messiah. Who is the Messiah? He is the son. What power over flesh mean? He is the judge in the judgment day. And your prophet, he says that Al Messiah will come hakaman muqsitan in the day of judgment. He will be an absolute just and justice judge. And nobody can be just and justice save God. That is the Messiah. That he should give the eternal life. Who give eternal life? The Messiah. Oh, we Muslims, we only see Christian Prince. Hey, honey, can you give me grape? I'm really dawa. Christian Prince, first of all, I told you, you tell me one verse in the Bible, did the same, I'm going to worship me. Do you see the Congo religion? They go to John 17, they skip verse number one. They go blind, Congo. They skip verse number two. 
Congro, I mean, it's Congro can jump so far, man. And then they say, okay, read for me number three. Number three, your donkey, it says, this is this, and this is life eternal, and that they may know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, who you sent. So you are the only true God. I am the only true Son. Coward. Father, glorify the Son. Father, God, don't glorify a human. A human is nobody. They are sinners. Father, glorify the Son, that the Son also glorify thee. As thou hast given him, stop trying to call me potato. I will call you when I'm done talking. I mean, those potatoes, we fry them in groups. <laughs> and sometimes individual. And then, Jesus is the one who has been given the eternal life. And what is the eternal life? To know that you, there is only one true God. And that's what the Christian believe, only true God. And the Son is the Son of God. We don't believe in two gods. We don't believe in three gods. There's only one God. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit is one God. And God identify himself as the Father. God identify himself as the Son. And let us continue. I have glorified thee on earth. I have finished the work thou gift me to do. All the Christians agree that Jesus was sent by the Father, not the opposite. It's not Jesus who sent the Father. For God, he loved the world. He sent his only begotten Son. And now, Father, glorify me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee, before the word was exist when jesus was exist before the word exist so do you see how those cowards they like only verse number three it says you are the only true god but they do not want to read that jesus was exist before the whole world is exist and he shared the glory with the father for oh, Father, glorify me. Tell them about the glory I have with you. Before the whole world is exist, before Abraham I am. Those potatoes copy paste nation. They think they have something. They are bankrupt. And he refused to read what his prophet said because Islam does not make any sense. Everything is a decision made by Allah. So when Adam commits sin, Allah, he forced Adam to commit sin. And he was trying his best to duct tape. But the hadith is so clear. Do you blame me for the decree written in my faith 40 years before my creation? Do you blame me? Which means you cannot blame him. Do you blame me for fornication? No, you cannot. The book of decree. It's a decree. It's not your choice. What about a child? He's an infant. If he die, where he will go? He might go to hell because everything is a decree. Even if the child is a Muslim child, even if he never commits sin, even if he is little infant baby. Let us see this Abdul. He is so excited. <laughs> <laughs> are you guys having fun hello hold on who is who's talking what do you mean who's talking are you the same guy who told me you are his name is adam that's who is talking okay are you a muslim yes i'm a muslim say the shahada Okay, Mushrik, no problem. You associate Allah with, with a man, his name is Muhammad. So now go to the hadith. So the, the child, he might go to hell. Why? Yeah, okay. So why? First of all, number one, what does it say in the beginning? It says Ansar. Who is the Ansar? 
Why is the Prophet praying for the Ansar? Why? Because they died as a Muslim. So okay. the whole point, we actually have another hadith. What does it say? It says that even this, the, the uh, children of the Mushrikeen will be in paradise with Ibrahim alayhi salam. So what you're saying, you're saying, oh, it says the, the Prophet saying that uh, things were written while they were in their father's loins. Therefore, uh, these children are going to hell. Well, he was just telling Aisha this to not, to, you know, pretty much to teach her not to guarantee anyone into paradise. You said that even the children of the Kuffar, they will go to heaven. Yeah, what if I show you that? No problem. Read the hate for us. What hadith you are talking reading? Perfect, perfect. Let me get it. Let me pull it up. It is Bukhari 7047. Read at the end where it says what? It says, and the bad looking man whom you saw in your seven, garden. 7047, seven, correct? 70? Seven, yeah, 7047. Seven. It says, right. whom you saw in the garden is Abraham and the children around him are those children who die with a fitrah, the Islamic faith, the narrator adds. Okay. Some Muslims ask the Prophet, oh, Allah's messenger, what? what about the children of the pagans? The Prophet replied, also the children of the pagans will be in paradise. All right. Boom. Okay, boom. You did. You just gave a bomb to your prophet. Boom. You just gave a bomb to your boom. prophet. No. Okay, hold on. You because hold on. Hold, let me let me give you my answer. Let me give you my answer. Let me give you my answer. You give me the hadith. Okay. We put the hadith in the screen. Everybody can see it. All right. So this is the hadith. You are you are you are seeing it. And let us see who is the one that will go to heaven. Uh, you said to me hadith number. Uh, Sorry, seven zero four seven. Okay. Here we go. And uh, uh, is Abraham and the children around him are those the children who died with fitra between two bracket the Islamic fitra? They are talking about who? Yeah, these are Muslims. Okay, so every child he died, he is died by fitra. He is a Muslim. He will go to heaven, correct? Mm -hmm. Well, this is a Bukhari, correct? Mm -hmm. The other hadith is Bukhari, correct? Um, either Bukhari or Sahih Muslim. Okay. The Are they both authentic? Yeah. That means Muhammad is a liar because he opposed okay. himself twice. Not only oh, twice, sorry, many times actually. Many times. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because he he opposed Aisha. If Muhammad agree with Aisha, why he is saying to her, it's not guaranteed. You just said to, to me, you said it's not guaranteed. Yeah, because the whole point of the hadith, what he's telling this to Aisha is to tell her not to guarantee anyone paradise. No, no, no. She is not guaranteeing. She is not guaranteeing. Even the, even the Prophet Muhammad. My friend, he just got, he just guaranteed the paradise himself. He just, you, you, you just you just said you just said you you just you just said you just said that the one who they are born by fitra, the childrens, they are going to go to heaven. So he guaranteed that already. Yeah, yeah. So, so why she can't guarantee? She is she is following him. If you if you give me this answer now, are you in guaranteeing or you are just following Muhammad? Yeah, it says that they will be. They will be exactly. So, so Aisha, for example, uh -huh. Allah tells us in the Quran, uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. That, that he's the that, that the prophet uh, is guaranteed paradise. However, we don't we don't say. We guarantee that we don't guarantee the prophet paradise. So we're not the ones who guarantee someone. If it comes by, for example, the ten companions who are pro uh, promised paradise, we don't guarantee anybody else. No we problem. Go by what is what is tawqifi. Do you know no, tawqifi no problem. No problem. No, no, no. Tawqifi means uh -huh. by revelation. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if something is revealed to us that somebody is guaranteed heaven or guaranteed hell, All right. then that means we can say that this person is going to heaven or hell. Okay. A child who is a child, he shall go to heaven guaranteed. Correct. Yeah, according to Bukhari, it says All right. the uh, children uh, who die upon fitra and also the children of the pagans, they will go to paradise. All right, wonderful. The story of Al-Khadr, the Khadr was driving his car with Moses. He saw a child. He was playing and he killed him. Why? Yeah, Khadr, because he's been given knowledge of what this boy would do. But he did not do anything yet. He is. You, you told me also, that if you child, die, if you die as a child, you will go to heaven. Say, chapter that, eighteen. Wait, does, it say that, does it say the boy was a child? Yes, it's a that. child. Yeah, it's a child. Can you show me where? It, it says Gulam. The Muslim translate as they wish. Gulam. What Gulam mean? Yeah. Okay. Show me where. Here we go. It says a chapter, chapter eighteen, verse number seventy-four. One talaqa hatta ida laqiya gulaman faqatalahu. 
Yeah, a boy. Okay. 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 So he killed a boy, and you told me that every boy he will go to heaven. Yeah. But is this boy bad or good? He, he was bad. He how he is boy, he my friend, how he is boy, and you told me that if you are a boy and you die, you go to heaven because you are born with futra. Yeah. And his and family actually are Muslims. His family, his, his families are Muslims, correct? Yeah, but can you show me anywhere where Khidr is going to, uh, to the, the boy uh, that, that Khidr killed is going to hellfire? Can you show me anywhere? What, what? Uh, what, what? Can you show me anywhere where that boy is going to hellfire? So are you saying to me that your God, sure Allah, you hold on, hold on, hold on. You said to me this boy will do bad things, correct? Yeah, he would have done bad things. Okay, so he will do bad things in the decree of Allah, in the knowledge of Allah or fantasy. But he didn't do. He wasn't, he wasn't so why you kill him? Because he would do bad things. Just like the all of us, we would do bad things. If there's a if there's a singular human being, will not do bad thing. Yeah. So let's let me just flip it on you. In First Samuel fifteen three, what about the babies? Okay. Okay. Don't, don't change topic. Don't change topic. Don't change topic. Don't change topic. Flip it on me. Exactly. You can't flip. You can't exactly. flip. So the baby, he did not. The baby now, when he get killed, you said to me, "Will show me where he will go to hell." Look, you're running when I flip it on you because you know you cannot flip it on me because you are nobody. Listen, so so the so the so the so the baby. Hold on, hold on. So the baby get killed unjustly for he commit no sin and he will not even go to hell. That's what you just said. They 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 uh, are born with sin according to your book. Answer and don't be a kid. <laughs> Look, you're stuck, bro. Are you stuck, oh, bro? Man, so, so you yeah, say this that this kid, everybody you heard you, everybody heard you. This is a boy. He never commits sin. He never did something wrong. He will do in the future. But by the way, if he will do in the future and you killed him, that means the future of Allah is a lie because there is no future for the boy. So if Allah, he knew the future of the boy and the future he will do bad, that means the future is a fraud because here we go. He don't have a future. Go ahead. What you said actually makes absolutely no sense. What do you All mean? If I killed the boy, if I killed the boy, is he going to have a future? Yeah, I asked you, is he going to the hellfire? Can you please listen? Listen, don't, don't change, don't change. You are, everybody is laughing at your religion. If he have you, you say, every, everybody that's heard you that's saying, that's don't make me repeat my, my why Muslims are potatoes. They keep, you know, I have to repeat the question so a thousand times. So Le listen, let us see who's scared. You said in the future, in the future, he will do, in the future, he would do bad things. So did he, did Allah knew the future or he don't? Yeah, he knows the future. But this guy, he have no future because he decided to kill him. So how in the future he will do? He will do. The wisdom in that. What is what, what wisdom? wisdom? You see, the, the, the stupidest babies. story became wisdom now. So if I am going to die today, and you tell you tell you tell me next week he will do something bad, but I'm dying today, and then he, this is wisdom or this is stupidity? Not wisdom because he would have made his parents. How, how, made his how he will make his parents if he? Okay, hold on. Guys, look at this stupidity. If the guy will not live until he become adult to hurt his parent or to do something wrong, how the future is exist? Yeah, because Allah knows what he would have done. What he knows, he knows nothing. Because if he knows, he should no. not even say, because he will do, because he should know that this person will die and he will not go to grow and do bad things. No, because if you allowed him to live, then that's you, you see, you are so quiet now. Like, you are, you are, you are like, like you, you are like, like you are pressured like a potato, mashed potato. No, Listen carefully. What do you tell me? You tell me, tell me wisdom. You tell me everything you except the question. If Allah, if Allah, if Allah knew the, if Allah knew the future, this boy, he died today. Yes. He died as a boy. Where is the future? Yeah, he doesn't have one. So you said to me he will be bad in the future. If he did live, Who? like let me ask you a question. Okay, hold on. If, have if he do, if he do, if he do live, uh, is Allah judging by if he do live? Yeah. So. Oh, so Allah, so Allah do not know. 
if he will live or not. He do not know. So listen, listen. So Allah, he do not know if the if the if this boy he will be bad or not. Yeah, he does know. Unlike your God, how you know? Genesis how you know? Regrets. Okay, he your God he regret too. Your God he regret. My God he regret for 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 Adam for he felt no, sorry for him. Regrets. Listen, listen. Genesis You're trying to change the topic. Regrets. Or a bit like your prophet. So my God he regret for Adam. He did something bad. Your God he is a filthy God. He don't even regret that he forced he Adam to commit sin. Listen, listen. Your God Adam. Your God Allah. He forced Adam to commit sin, and then he okay. kicked Adam from okay. heaven for committing sin, and then he forced you, you to commit fornication, and he punished you for fornication. So do you know what a preordainment is? The princess is your your prophet who used to put eye liner three times a day, and he wear his wife's skirt, and he pissed like a and he pissed like a woman. And he pissed so like a, a woman. Listen, listen. So don't. You are trying to. You are trying to change the topic. Is I challenge you. I challenge you. Listen, listen, listen. I challenge you to copy this video. Put it in your channel. Your God was getting kissed by a prostitute on his feet. My, my God, he was don't kissed by that. a prostitute. My he God was, was kissed by a prostitute. Right? Yeah. Okay. Was. Okay. I want you to be I want you to be honest with with yourself my God who was kissed by the prostitute did she kiss him in his cheek in his mouth or she was kissing his shoes she kissed his feet exactly so Jesus is God she was worshiping him and you are a whore and you are a whore like Aisha Aisha the prophet used to Aisha the prophet used to suck her tongue shut up you coward you try to change the topic you son of Muta you have those respect to Jesus she was kissing his feet worshiping him and she is not a whore because a person who been forced into prostitution we just showed you Allah he forced decreed your prostitution how you can be a whore and the women she repent who is the founder the biggest founder a woman in Islam for a big movement in Islam she is a whore Rabi al Adawiyah. And the really whore is your prophet who make prostitution legal. And he said, Force not your daughters to do prostitution, your girls, if they choose a chastity. But if they not, and you force them, Allah is all merciful. Officially, pimp religion so you see here how those cowards they try to change the topic very embarrassing if you are a child and you did not commit sin and you die you go to heaven the second we showed him the story about the boy he said to me well show me where he will go to hell so you kill the person he commit no sin and he will not even go to hell and then when I ask him if this boy will do bad things in the future where is his future if you killed him <laughs> so Allah do not know the future because if Allah he knew the future he will not speak about him doing bad in the future for the boy have no future how he answered that it's a wisdom of Allah do you see the stupidity same time the hadith you gave me about the children of the kuffar they will go to heaven is a total contradiction for what Aisha she said and he disagree with her if Aisha she said he will go to heaven because he died by fitra, you should agree. Or maybe your prophet is the kind of a human being he likes to oppose to be known. So he want to show Aisha that she is a stupid. Aisha, she said, oh, he died by fitra, he will go to heaven, as you said last time. I can show you the reference, Prophet Muhammad. It's in Sahih al-Bukhari. 
Hadith number 7047. Muhammad, he said to her, don't be stupid, okay? Don't be stupid. Even if he commit no sin, it might be otherwise. Aisha, for God created some to go to paradise doing so when they were still in their father lions lions and he created others other what other children's people do you see it we are talking about what we are talking about babies this is why he don't want me to talk and read the stupidity of muhammad some they will go to hell and some they will go to heaven and a prophet of God who contradict himself cannot be prophet of God especially in a very simple matter because either all children they will go to heaven as he said in the previous hadith or some they will go some they don't which one here no some babies will go to heaven and some babies will go to hell Is it fun to fry the Abdul? <laughs> this guy, he's at cuts. And you know, they try their best to, to flip to speak about the Bible in the speed of light. A whore, she kissed Jesus. The whore, my friend, is Muhammad. He went to his own son, wife, and he flirted with her, according to Muslim books. I'm sure he's sleeping with her already. And he said to her, praise be to Allah who made my heart to flip for you. So the fornication of Muhammad is an act of Allah. Allah, Allah, he made his heart to flip for her. And then the whore Zainab, waited until the husband came back and she told him your father was here he flirted with me and he said this and then the hadith says for fatina zaid bingo he got it he went to his father and he said father i want to divorce her she's bad he never complained before but now he knew his father is if in his wife she is a whore his father is a scumbag he said to himself what a shame my wife is sleeping with him already a woman who is not a whore, she will be so upset. She said, do you know what your father said to me when you are not here? He flirted with me. I don't want to see here no more. Instead, Zainab, she said, after the prophet, he flirted with me. Each time he tried to F her, Allah make his penis swell. Tawarrama dhalika minhu. The miracle of Allah. While Jesus making the blind see and the dead alive, walking in water, creating from the mother bird, Allah was making the penis of the husband swell. What is an amazing miracle? Allah don't want the man, the husband, to have sex with his wife, to F her. So he made his penis swell. Isn't it? This is amazing. Think about it. If Muhammad is not prophet of God, why in the world this whore is proud about her prophet flirting with her and by the way when he married her there's no witnesses she asked Muhammad where is your witnesses he said Allah and Jibreel what the heck this is Tafsir Al-Qurtubi chapter of Al-Ahzab verse number 37 and this is how Allah he made the penis of the husband swell She said, Amsa Zaydun Fa'awa ila Firashihi. Zayd, he came to his bed as usual. Zainab, she said, Oh, the boy, 
He tried to F her, but he could not. ولم يستطع أن يزيد. But nothing. وما امتنع منه غير ما منع منعه الله مني. But he could not do it because Allah. Next, nothing make him not to be able to do it except Allah could not make him able to do it. His penis is not functioning. And then it says, from different stories says, وفي بعض الروايات فإن إن زين زيدا تورم ذلك منه حين أراد أن يقربها. He swell his penis is swell when he try each time he tried to get it close to her let us use google translation peace be upon him <laughs> the swelling penis miracle let us be honest who is the whore A woman she is married, proud about a man who is the father of her husband, flirt with her, and then the miracle strike. His penis is swell. Brothers and sisters, if this is not from God, what is from God? Only God can make your penis swell. You know, this God, he don't want, he don't want the husband to sleep with his wife. That's it. She is reserved to Muhammad. Muhammad, he like her. Ibn al-Arabi, he said, the Prophet have 16 privilege. And he mentioned, I think it was number 11. If his eyes fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her. Isn't it amazing? Let us see where it says the word is swell here. Uh, in English, we show it to you in Arabic, but we will try to show it in English. <laughs> oh, let us see. Uh, okay, let's search for a different word. Uh, which one, which one, which one we can search for in English? Uh, maybe maybe it is uh, Google Translate as a swollen. Let us search for a swollen. Here we go. <laughs> Christian Prince, a whore she is Jesus, okay? What a coward. What a filthy. So as you see, the religion of Islam is based on no base. According to Islam already, it is a fate who will go to heaven, who will go to hell, even if you are a baby child. As you see, Allah do not know the future. Allah, he said, when he grow, he will do bad things, but don't Allah knew that this person will never grow, especially he is the one who ordered him to be killed. How you can see a future of a person have no future? And when I saw this actually, I said to myself, I'm not going to get married. The prophet, he will see my wife and Allah will make my penis swell. Oh no. Hell no. Leave the penis alone. Allah, you see, Allah did not make the guy sleep, snore, he's tired, so he won't sleep with her or think about sex. No. Simple. Allah, he said, be swollen, the penis is swollen. 
Can your God do that? Allah is a blessing a fornicator, Muhammad, wishing a woman she is married. Isn't it this is what against the Ten Commandment people? People, did Muhammad now broke the Ten Commandment of God? The Muhammadan they claim that Moses was a Muslim. Are you allowed to approach or to wish a woman she is not yours in the Ten Commandment? Are we? The answer no. So Muhammad, he is a filthy man who broke the most basic command of God. In the top of that, Allah, he tell him, why you hide what I, you know, come on. You want the women, hello. Allah, he is a blessing him to take the wife from her husband. Can you believe it? This is Al-Qurtabi in the front of you. In the same time, it says, if his eyes fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her. Look how decent, very clear, breaking the command of God given to Moses. But where it says that, a Christian prince, you are a liar. I'm going to get you busted. Let us see. <laughs> By the way, you are the one who brought that to your prophet. Now, we were talking about a different topic, but as long as you mention it, well, deal with it. The same book of Al Qurtubi, volume number 14, page number 2. 12. Number 10. Number 10. See, my memory is still good. I said number 11. It turned to be number 10. The privilege number 10. If the prophet eyes fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her so he can if her let us use the translation of google psp upon him let us look for number 10 if his sight falls on a woman her husband must divorce her and it is lawful for him to if her not to marry her is that a prophet of God or a pimp or a gang leader he come to your house he like your wife you have to leave her to him is that a lie this is your books this is your reference this is your scholars interpretation of all court to be Volume number 14, page number 212. I will give you a short link for it. Save it. If you are a Muslim, make it salad. Because obviously your religion is a salad. In one hand, you lie to people saying to them, we have a religion, Allah taught us to be decent and protect Muslim women. Protect Muslim women from who? Our woman is like jewelry, is okay. The prophet, he, his eyes fall into your wife. You have to give her to him so he can boom, boom her. I mean, isn't it? This is the most amazing prophet you can even imagine. Let me pause the link for you so you can save it. And you can use Google Translation. Bingo, a Muslim trying to call me and he is so excited. Look like they are seeking more spanked. Let us see. 
<laughs> and right away they try to change to speak about the Bible right away. Hello? Yes, my friend. Are you a Muslim? Uh, yes, I am. Okay. I most certainly am. All right. What do you think about our topic, what we are seeing on the screen? Hello? We lost him. Guys, my voice is gone, really. I mean... <clears throat> My throat is hurting, my back is hurting, I'm st sitting for a long time. But I cannot uh, give up the joy of making Muslims leave Islam and see, showing the Christians and teaching them why Islam is false and why we are Christians. And as you see, all of them, they have no choice except to admit that Muhammad is a fraud. Are you there? We lost him, let us call him again. Hello. Yeah. If if your internet if your internet is if your internet is if your internet is bad, maybe you should exit uh, some programs. You know. Um. Well, I I just cooked up to the Wi-Fi. I'm good. So yeah, I would consider myself a Muslim, and I've been watching your videos for a while. All right. I wonder. Um. So I wonder why do you why are you so intent on on picking apart and ripping the smaller parts of, of scriptures of this interpretation or that interpretation of things that occurred 2000 years ago, isn't the whole basis of spiritual and moral teaching to transcend those events? Aren't those books meant to be metaphorical? Is swelling the penis is a metaphorical thing? Anything could be metaphorical in a book that was written 2000 years ago. Well, are you a metaphorical person too? What'd you say? Are you metaphorical? How that no. can be metaphorical? We are talking about real people, what they did, what they said, and you are saying to me metaphorical. You see, metaphorical, if I say to you, glory to God, you know, when I see the tree, which means I'm not worshiping the tree. So, my friend, my friend, don't waste my time. The religion of Islam is based in what Muhammad did, not metaphorical did. Muhammad, he did things. Allah, he said to do things, to do, not metaphorical. So, he was a faithless prophet. Christ came claiming to be of something divine. I don't mean to say whether he is or isn't. Muhammad, all he, all he said was he was a prophet. He could be a sinner. And Hold on. What fact, what Muhammad what all... Muhammad mean what Muhammad mean? Uh, what what Muhammad mean the name Muhammad? The praised one. So how he claimed claimed to be a prophet? He claimed to be God. He didn't claim to be God. Well, if you are calling yourself the praised one, then you are the God. So if you're praised by God, you are God. So if I'm praised, by hold on, God, I'm... hold on. You see, first of all, God can't praise you. For you are not equal, you are a human. I praise God for you, but I don't praise you. You are nobody. I praise God for you because you are the made by God. So we praise God, we don't praise man. So when you praise a man, that means he is God and he is the one to be praised. Especially it says the praised one, which means there's no other one. Okay, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Okay. But didn't, didn't his hold, wasn't his whole thing didn't all his biggest claim be that Gabriel came to him and said a bunch of stuff? No problem. I, no problem, my friend. But first of all, when somebody, he claims something, do you believe whatever people say? I can say yesterday, somebody came to me and his name is Gabriel. Here we go. I'm a prophet. Are you going to follow me now? No, no, no. Why? Based, okay, why? So why Muhammad? You want to follow Muhammad? When he have no proofs, he have no witnesses, nobody saw this Gabriel. Even his wife. You could you could go as far as to say that about any major religion. No, was, when when yeah. when 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 Jesus, my friend, hold on. When Jesus, he controlled the nature. He have witnesses. When Jesus, he made the blind see. He have witnesses. When Jesus, when Jesus resurrect people from death, he have witnesses, tens of thousands. So when we speak about. 
any I can say that about anyone I can say that about anyone is lying because if you have no witnesses even in the normal court even if you borrow ten dollars if you have no witnesses you have no ten dollars do we agree sure okay so in the case of Muhammad what is the witness that Muhammad he had an angel he squeezed him three times nobody correct what about the what about the cave what about the spider in the cave with the web this is not what exist this is a false story this is a story taken from the old testament about about uh, i think okay. solomon so, so now so now we can sit we can sit back at, at the past at, at, at works that have been rewritten and rewritten and rewritten and rewritten and say this is true and this is false my friend my friend uh, when, you, when, you when see i am not I'm, I, I i don't have time for hippie talk i have no i have no time this is hippie talk so Either it happened or nothing happened. So if it doesn't happen and we can prove it, then he is a fraud. The the discussion should be on the moral implications. Okay, let us talk. People. You see, I don't, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what you ate before you call me. I just showed you that Muhammad he went to his own son wife when the husband is not there and he flirted with her and then he took her and Allah made the penis of the husband swell and you are now saying to me we should focus in the moral where is the moral the Ten Commandments of Musa says don't take don't wish a woman she is not yours but Muhammad uh -huh. huh no no okay so who proved or disproved that these events that you're explaining to me even occurred the Muslims the Muslims yeah I'm reading from okay. their books I'm reading from their books, my friend. I am not reading from the Christian books. And what? And what? And do you do you also read and interpret of different things like the Buddhists, the natives? The why? Buddhists? Why I want to care about the Buddhists? My specialty is Islam. I'm not a doctor for the Buddhists. I know nothing about Buddhism. So you're so. Shouldn't you be? Shouldn't you be trying to defend and then criticize all religions? Why target specifically Islam? This is my specialty. You come to someone who do sushi. I do sushi, somebody else, he do eggplant. But how are you supposed to how are you supposed to learn anything about greater truths when you're focused on something so small? I I am this is not so small. The Muslim they claim this the Muslim they claim that there are more than 1.6 billions. This is not a small, and regardless if it's a small or not, you don't come to me and tell me why I don't focus in that, focus in this. I decide to focus in that. What's your problem? My problem is, is that 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 kind of scrutiny and that kind of hyper focus is the very, very antithesis of what Christ was all about. A guy wandered the fucking desert, whether he was divine don't, or not. Don't you divine, are you have a filthy you have a filthy mouth. I cannot keep you, uh, you know, uh, uh, alive on air. And your name is Radwan. That means you are a Muslim. Can't you keep your mouth clean? Shame on you. <coughs> If he is in the desert or not, who care? Is that an excuse to go after your wife, if your son wife? Is that an excuse to go after a child she is six years old? Is that an excuse to make verse says any woman she offer herself to the prophet so he can have her? Is that an excuse to say the woman she can lie to her husband and the husband can lie to his wife? If the family is based on lying, the society, all of it is corrupt because the cell of the society is the family. Husband lied to the wife, the wife lied to her husband, wife to lie to the children, the children lie to each other, children they lie to the, the to their friends, the wife she lied to their neighbor, everybody lied to everybody. A person who have decency, he will not say you can lie. Even Jesus, he will forbid us even from swearing, say yay, yay, or nay, nay. Muhammad, he said, if you take oath, false oath, false. Listen carefully. False. Allah will not take you accountable for your false oath. He take you accountable only for what you meant in your heart. So now I can swear to you, I swear by Allah, I did not do it. But in my heart, I do it. <laughs> this is against God command. 
Don't use the name of your God in vain. In fact, if you use, if you take a false oath, you should be put to death. For that is what sin is. That is hell. And now it is not just hell, it is way beyond hell, because now you are using the name of God to deceive others. You are not just a liar. You are using the glorified God name to lie. How that can be from God. And this guy, he calling me, you know, the, those, those people, they are hippie, you know, uh, metaphorical. What you don't, why you don't focus in uh, Buddhism? What I will focus on Buddhism? They have some toys in the front of them. Buddhism don't lie about Jesus. They never speak about Jesus. The Quran lie about us. The Quran order to kill us. The Quran order to rape our women. The Quran order to humiliate us. The Quran call us pigs and monkeys, and we are the worst of the creatures and donkeys. So I have the right to respond and show them that the donkey is Muhammad and Allah does not exist. And if you watch my video today from the beginning to the end, you would die laughing. You will not find one Muslim was able to say anything truthful. It turned to be that everything in Islam is a joke. Right? Someone saying to me, I dare you to explain instead of m muting me, why was Isaiah just to show you how the Mohammedan they are potatoes. I muted you because you don't let me talk and you are trying to change the topic. The topic wasn't about this, and the answer is very simple. If I show you right now in your books, it says that Muhammad was born six years after his father's death. What you will say to me? Oh, there is a mistake. It can't be true. Because how the Prophet, he is younger than his uncle. They should be born in the same year. We don't have that. This man, he is, he become a king at the age of 42. And he become a king at the age of 22 because he did not become a king to rule by because by birth he become a king as an example if you are six years old or if you are 20 or even 25 you are not going to be taking over the kingdom even if you are the king Someone he is in charge of your kingship. That was his mother. So you are a stupid fool, like you're a prophet. Same time, this is a book about history. It's not even God talking, you donkey. So even if you want to say it's a mistake, that will not change anything. But when we ask Muhammad how many days Allah took him to create the earth and the heaven. In one verse, Muhammad, he made them nine. In one verse, he made them six. In other hadith, he made them eight or seven. That make a difference. This is just history. It's not even about God, you donkey. But because you are so desperate, trying to find what you call contradiction, The contradiction would be if in one place you say children will go to heaven, other place you say maybe half of the children will go to hell. That contradiction. If in one verse you say that Allah created the mountains before the stars, in different verse you say no, Allah created the stars before the mountains. That is a contradiction. Lili Dawa, and today we showed a video, go watch it. He is the same person he said, Allah cannot enter his creation. God cannot be inside his creation. In the from video he says, Allah, he entered his creation. How he do that? We do not know. Allahu Alam. 
But the same guy, he said, God cannot be inside his creation. <laughs> so because they are bankrupt, they think this is like, what? look, he was 22 or he was 42. Potato. We laugh at your contradictions. If we go in the Quran right now, I will type the word six. All those verses saying Allah created the earth and the heaven in six days. Six days. Six days. Look how many times. I'm not going to show all. Okay. How many days Allah created the earth and the heaven? Six days. Are you sure, Muhammad? For sure. I'm sure. Yes. Everything and everything between them, not only the earth and the heaven, everything between them, everything. All six days. Be my witness. Muhammad, you know, he decided to explain to us voluntarily. Look what he said. Allah, and this is very uh, authentic, you know, this is, they cannot say, they cannot say this is, this is Sahih Muslim. Allah created, Allah the glorious created the clean Saturday. Okay, this is one day. And the mountain in Sunday, this is two days. And he created the trees in one day. Okay, that's, this is three days. And he created the, in the old things in Thailand labor in Tuesday. This is uh, four days. And created the lights in Wednesday. This is five days. And he created the animals and spread it in Tuesday. This is six days. We should be stopped? No. And he created Adam in the Friday afternoon. <laughs> that is seven days. <laughs> and not only that, it's a Friday afternoon. When they asked Zach and Nick, well, isn't it the Quran said that because they speak about the Big Bang, about billions of years, they say, but isn't it the Quran says six days? He say, but the third, but the whole, the Quran said, thick said, with me, thick period. Allah, he didn't say that they are thick day, 24 hour day. True? He did not, so Allah, he said they, but he don't mean days, he means six period. But Muhammad, he said, Allah created the mountains in the clean Saturday. Looked like Saturday was a billion year at that time. Saturday. And even Adam, he asked Allah to finish him before the sun set. If you go to the Quran where it says, وَكَانَ الْإِنسَانُ عَجُولًا And the human was ever hasty. You go and read the interpretation of Ibn Kathir. You will see that Adam, he said to Allah, Hey Allah, finish me before the sunset. Honey, do you have some grape? Chapter 17, verse number 11. Finish me before the sunset. How Adam knew the sunset? I mean, the guy is still in Tesla manufacture in the process of making, yet he do know that the sun is going to set. Huh? This potato, he is saying to me, it's a mistake. He have to admit, it's a mistake to go to the Quran. My friend, you have a mental issue. If it's a mistake to go against the Quran, then it's a mistake for Muhammad to go against the Christians. Why you don't focus on Islam and religion, metaphorical? You are just a potato. Instead of admitting it's a mistake to go to the Quran, what kind of logic? That when you know your book has mistakes, couldn't God save himself from humility? That's the good question. Guys, if God save himself from a humility, that means his God will Jesus he save himself from a humility in Islam then. That means he is God in Islam. Do you see how stupid you are?
because your logic will work against you. If Jesus could save himself from a humility, that will make Jesus God. Oops. That means Jesus is God in Islam, not in Christianity. This is your logic, and this is how stupid you are. Same time, if Allah, he could save Jesus in Islam, well, he could save Muhammad in Islam, but he could not. Muhammad, he died by poison, cheap poison, a woman she bought from Walmart for a few cents. And Allah could not save Muhammad. She got the cheapest poison in town. She put it in the food of Muhammad. And it took him a lot of pain dying slowly. And this is the reference. So is that a mistake that Allah, he wanted to save Jesus? Oh, sorry, he wanted to save Muhammad, but by mistake he saved Jesus? The Muslim, they're saying that Muhammad is superior. But look what happened. Jesus right now is beside Allah, eating popcorn with Allah. And Muhammad is rotting dead. And the mosquitoes and the cockroaches all over his body, if anything left. Why Allah did not save him? It's a mistake, isn't it? Lili Dawa, you're stupid, my friend. Same time. Anyone who knows the Bible, he knew that Jesus said, I lay down myself and nobody can take it from me. So then nobody can do humility to Jesus. And in the same time, as long as you are talking about humility, well, we are humiliating Allah right now. Can't Allah save himself from my tongue and my hand? I'm using your stupid logic. Are you with me, people? If protecting yourself from humility will prove you to be God, what, what we are doing here every day? <laughs> huh? What is the spanking I'm doing here to Allah every day? Not to forget to mention that the Quran said, that Allah, he stop all those who make fun of you, Muhammad. Oh, true. Look like I'm doing nothing. Chapter 15, verse number 95. <laughs> False prophecy. Did Allah protect Muhammad from those who mock him? Did he? My friend, you are being stupid. Who said my God could not save himself? Isn't he right now alive in heaven? You are a donkey. Don't come here again. I have no time for children's. Hippie. Hippie potato. If your God could not save himself. Isn't it Jesus now in heaven? And isn't it generation after generation they are dying? And isn't it the whole world waiting for Jesus? And you are saying to me he could not save himself? How stupid you are. Don't come here without your parents next time. Potato. You see why we laugh at their logic, how stupid they are? Their logic is even against them. Who said that Jesus did not save himself? Isn't he resurrected? Which means he is bulletproof. And yet he is not victorious. The one who is alive is not victorious. And the one who is dead is victorious. This is your logic. So the stupid Muhammad and himself agree that Jesus right now is in heaven. So how he can be the loser? and how he is humiliated, and how he did not save himself. This is the biggest victory ever. You shoot me a hundred bullet, I come back. Which means you did nothing. 
and you are dead. The one who shot me is dead. And their children are dead. And the children of the children of the children are dead. And I am living in heaven. That is Jesus. How many of you today enjoyed our hot barbecue for the Mohammedan? If you did, I'm staying here for many hours, my friend, all day long, just to serve you. At least download the video, at least give a like, at least make a comment, at least do something. Here we bring victory to Jesus. This is not a victory to Christian Prince. Christian Prince is nobody. They hate me, as Jesus said, they will hate you for my sake. They will kill you because of me. But we are victorious. They fear our gospel. They claim to be brave. They claim Islam is the truth. But if somebody preached the gospel in their countries, they execute him immediately because they are coward and they are scared and they are terrified of the word of God. For if God is with me, who could be against me? Today and every day, we bring victory for the truth. However, God do not need us to bring victory, but He use us. He use the good of us. And you are my witness. And I challenge all those Mohammedans who call me today to download this video if you are proud about what you said and about what happened and put it in your channel without editing. At least your call. I'm not asking you to post my video, all of it in your channel. No. I know you will never do that. But if you dare download the video, the part you call me, as it is from the second number one to the last second and let the muslim laugh could you if you are victorious you will be proud about such a debate and argument correct you will be proud. You want to show your wife, your kids, your friends. Look what I did to the Christians. Christian Prince was busted. Man, do it if you are a man. And let the whole world see how you and your God and your prophet are in disability in front of the poor me. So what you would do in front of Jesus? I'm nobody. If I can smash your God and your prophet with no mercy, what will happen when you meet the Messiah? I will tell you what will happen. What Muhammad he said when the Antichrist meet Jesus. Anyone remember? He will dissolve like salt in water Satan when he see Jesus he will dissolve like salt in water obviously Muhammad is talking about himself when the Messiah come Satan Aka Muhammad will dissolve like salt in water. And then you need to ask yourself that the jail is a person who can cut a person, a human being, two pieces, and he can split him two distance, like a mile distance between them. And then he can order the body to walk, even if he is two pieces, and put them together again. That the jail he can order the command, the ground to bring jewelries and gold and silver. He can control the cloud, the rain. He's so powerful. 
But when he see Jesus, he will dissolve like salt. Isn't it that amazing? Salt? Let us see which hadith to be sure. Some hadith even says he will dissolve like copper. He will be melted like copper. Let me see which one we can find here. Oh boy. <laughs> Let us see, hold on. Uh, this is going to be found here. Let's see the different hadith. Uh, <laughs> you see how powerful the Messiah is. Even the devil Muhammad could not deny. You see, even when Satan, he come to Jesus in the New Testament, he said to him, if you are the son of God, not if you are a prophet, not if you are anything, except if you are the son of God. Uh, let us see. I'm trying to find the hadith in English. <clears throat> All right. Maybe we can find this one in Sahih Muslim. Let us see. Here we go. Let us see. Read with me carefully. We found the reference. This is Sahih Muslim, authentic hadith. The Dajjal and the descent of Isa, the son of Mary. In case you do not know, Isa in Islam supposedly is Jesus, which is false. It's a stupid name, Muhammad, he called because he do not know languages. So the Messiah, he will descend in Damascus in Syria, according to Muhammad. And here it says, when the enemy of Allah would see him, it would disappear just as salt dissolve itself in water. Do you see it? And all the enemy and all the army of a Dajjal will dissolve like salt. Do you see how amazing the Messiah is? This is the enemy of Jesus witnessing to Jesus that Jesus is the most powerful. He is a glory. The devil, when he see him, he will melt. The devil, he ride Muhammad's shoulders, according to Muslims. The devil gave Muhammad satanic verses, according to the Quran. The devil command Muhammad, according to the Hadith. The devil melt when he see Jesus. Are you with me? Then we need to ask ourselves, who is this Messiah? Why he is so powerful? Dissolve? Do you know what the word dissolve mean? Is he like glorified? You know, his glory is so powerful more than the sun? To the point, the second he appear, the enemy, he cannot even fight. The enemy cannot resist. The enemy cannot even talk. He dissolve. And who is the enemy? The enemy of Allah. Who is that? Shaitan supposedly how come shaitan 
could not and did not dissolve in the front of Muhammad. It must be there is something very special about the Messiah. That is your Lord, my friend. Even in the book of the evil Muhammad, he could not deny that he is the one and the only one can destroy the devil. The end of the devil is in the hand of Jesus. You see, when you watch movies, who is the hero who stay to the end of the movie? Indian, American, Turkish, I don't care. The hero, everybody die. Numbers, nobody even remember them. The hero is the one who stay to the end. Where is Muhammad? Is dead. Who is the one to stay to the end? Jesus. Who is the hero? Hmm? Don't you know that Jesus, he was all putting his head down? My friend, you are an ignorant. You do not know how the Jews, they pray. They lay in the ground. They don't put their head down. You are a potato. They lay down in the ground, and this is what it says in the Bible, and you are a fraud. You are a prophet, he pray, the same as the Buddhist. Actually, I took a video of how the Buddhist, they pray, and I will post it maybe soon. And you will see, you pray exactly like the Buddhist, not like the Jews. Not like the Jews, even though you try to copy the Jews. But as long as you mention this, your prophet once was a praying. A Jewish man walked by, he's a rabbi. He said to Muhammad, oh, this is how we do it. Look what your prophet did. He said, Sit down, sit down, act differently. So if you are saying to me that the Jews, they pray like Muhammad, the truth is that Muhammad was trying to copy the Jews. And when the Jews get him busted, Muhammad, he changed the prayer. The guy did not even say anything. He did not say you are wrong. He did not say you are false or what he said. This is how we do it. What the response of Muhammad? Sit down, sit down, act differently. Okay, hold on. If we ask the Muslims, did Muhammad receive his prayer the way he prayed from Allah? They will say yes. How you can change it in a second? Was he praying according to Allah? They will say yes. So why you change it? Just because the Jew, he said, this is how we do it? So Muhammad, he said to himself, oh, oh, they got me busted. They will go now and say, look, Muhammad trying to pray like us. So he said, Khalifuhum. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Don't stand up. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Whoop, what the heck? So what if the guy, he said to you, this is how we do it? Don't you Muslim, you claim that you follow Moses? Aren't you now making the post to show me that you are following Moses too? And your prophet, he prayed like Moses supposedly? And Jesus, he prayed the same as the Muslim they pray? It turned to be no. Muhammad get busted. In fact, a Jew is the one who told Muhammad about monotheism. Muhammad do not know what monotheism. As usual, the Jews they school him. They said to him, you are a mushrik. You are what? You are a mushrik. A Jewish guy schooling Muhammad and spanking him? Yes, brother. And Muhammad, he agreed. He did not say to him, no, no, no. Look with me. Muhammad is a mushrik and a Jew spanking Muhammad in his bum, telling him, you an idiot, you are associating someone with God. Is that a da'if hadith? No. Muhammad, he learned monotheism from a Jew. Otherwise, until now, they are doing the wrong practice. 
And you will notice in the hadith, Muhammad, he agree with the Jew. And he told his followers, don't, don't, from now on, don't say this, okay? Where was Allah? Shouldn't Allah is the one who tell him, you are doing bad? Huh? Shouldn't Allah is the one who warned him that this is wrong? And this is, polytheist asked? And look at the translation. He says, you associate. In Arabic, it says, tushrikun. You are a mushrik, polytheist. Mushrik. Why? Because you say this and that. Muhammad, he said, okay, let us do what the Jew said. That means Muhammad, he never received guidance from Allah to correct him. Muhammad learning from the Jews. Muhammad is not a prophet. And if Muhammad himself committing shirk and his disciple, if we can call them disciple, committing shirk, and Muhammad, he learned what is right, what's wrong from the Jews. How Muhammad can be a prophet of God. Do you see why we love at Islam? I want to just give you attention that we made a, another video today. Uh, the video there is for Mimi Lili Dawa. Download it. It's hilarious. We wiped the floor with Lili Dawa. We asked many people to make it short video. And we show people how Mimi da Lili Dawa, uh, Ali Dawa, her nickname is Ali Dawa, her real name is Lili Dawa, how he contradict himself and how he debunk Islam and get Islam busted. Don't forget to watch it, share it, download it, cut it, put it together, do whatever you want, make it short so people can laugh like you can shorten it and make the cheese. And the same, the same for this video. We have many callers. You can cut them, make each one of them a video. And we encourage the Muslim too, especially the one who called me, to download the video and post it in your channel. In TikTok. TikTok. I dare you. If you are victorious, you will do it. If you know that you're lost, you will never. Do we agree, people? A Muslim is proud about what he did. He will publish it everywhere. A Muslim, he want, he got humility, he got busted, he got spanked, he will never post the whole conversation, not two seconds. Take the whole call you did with me and put it in your channel. I challenge you. I am a Christian prince and your God cannot debate me, not you. None of you is match. Not your God, not your prophet. And we expose the fraud of Islam every day. Next time, prepare yourself better. Drink some camel urine. Eat the poopoo of the prophet, who the earth swallow it, and his farts smell like musk. And here we show the whole world that the musk of Muhammad is nothing but fart. And the fart of Muhammad had nothing to do with musk. But what you can say to a religion worship a man claiming even his poopoo cannot be found, the earth is swallow it. Why? Is that a human? And his fart smell like musk, Aisha, she said. <laughs> Muhammad, he fart, Aisha, she enjoy it. I think even Muhammad, he used to fart at Aisha when she wanna go out. So she can smell good. May Allah fart on you one after one. So you can keep be covered by the fart of Muhammad, which is smell like musk. Aren't you ashamed of your stupidity? And yet they say to us, we don't worship Muhammad. He's fart like a musk. And he have the power of 40 men in bedroom. Don't you know that? We don't worship Muhammad. But if his eyes fall into my wife, I have to give her to him. We don't worship Muhammad, but he's holy. If you insult him, we will kill you. If you insult Allah, we'll give you three days to repent. We don't worship Muhammad. Absolutely not. He is just a slave of Allah. But he will take the fifth of the booty. 
and you have a privilege, most of them about sex. We don't worship Muhammad, but we follow what Muhammad said, not what the Quran said. We don't worship Muhammad. What a bunch of potatoes. And today we fried you without oil. Thank you all. Christ is Lord and God is good. So is Jesus. See you soon.